ensure that people suffering from mental health don't have access to these legal weapons? Students are speaking out, many are walking out of classes this morning. It's all to protest gun violence and to demand changes in gun laws following the deadly mass shooting at Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Celebrities like Oprah Winfrey and George Clooney are donating hundreds of thousands of dollars to help students travel to Washington, D.C. for the March for Our Lives protest next month. It'll include local demonstrations in many states. Joining us now is Jasper Sharon, a founding member of the Lemonade Warriors Youth Activism Organization and a sophomore at the Buckley School, and Mason Lee, who is a Lemonade Warrior member and also a sophomore at the Buckley School. Good morning to you both. It's great to be Thanks here for with being you. here. You guys, this is, you know, you're, you're growing up in a time where you now train for active shooters, uh, that they happen, they're more commonplace than they ever were. Adults like us didn't grow up at a time where that was something that we worried about in school. So after what happened last week in Florida, what are kids saying in, in your school about the world in which we now live? Yeah, well, I mean, the mood is, mood is really down. We're angry and frustrated, and we're too young to vote, so we feel like our voices can't be counted, but they can be heard. So we have to make noise and organize protests and marches. Yeah, I think we're at a point right now where this has happened too many times. In 2017, there were 307 mass shootings. If we just look back in recent months, Kentucky, Florida, Texas, Fort Lauderdale, and even here in like Los Angeles and South Castro, the list just keeps going on and on. I think it's we're at a point where the thoughts and prayers are not enough anymore. And we really just need to take action. Yeah, there is so much gun violence in our society, and, and you guys are actually doing something about it. What what do you want the leaders to know? Well, first of all, we want to extend our support to the students in Florida who are turning their grief into action. But um, it's really important to understand that this isn't just a political issue because 88% of Americans from both parties actually support stricter gun laws, and it's not a constitutional issue because we're not fighting we're not fighting to take away the rights of health the gun rights of healthy law abiding citizens because they have the right to bear arms it's strictly just a fight for our lives and we have in our schools we have earthquake drills just the same as we have mass shooting drills so in our reality like mass shootings are treated just the same as natural disasters and we don't want to live like this anymore we want to take we want stricter gun laws and we want more background checks and we want to take the guns out of the hands of people who are dangerous. It's really that simple. Mm. What is it like for you guys to now realize that people your age that are speaking up and going to DC and going to you know the, the Florida capital, the kids from Parkland saying, we need to be heard. And now it seems that the rest of the country is listening. So what is that like for you guys to see that young people your age, you know, starting to get people to, to, to think about this and lawmakers in particular? Well, I think, like you said, youth activism is the way that I think we can solve this issue. And because, like, to be honest with you, we don't want to have to be here having this conversation with you. We'd rather be at school learning and having a safe environment. But it just at this point in time, that's not the case that we can have. And I think as students personally, our everyday safety is being jeopardized on the inability of our lawmakers to listen to the majority of Americans. And I think the only way, in light of recent events, is the students that need to speak up. You guys are clearly taking a, a leadership role in this at your school. Do you get the sense that other students are with you? Is there any divide amongst the student body? I, yeah, I think that among the student body, everyone's coming around this issue. It seems now that gun control has become more bipartisan than it has ever before because it's not the safety of Democrats or Republicans. It's the safety of all kids. We want to come together over that. So we're having, you know, marches coming up in March, mm -hmm. uh, protests. We, we saw some kids in Florida today that, that walked out of school and held up signs. How, what other ways uh, can young people get involved? We well, yeah, um, beyond marches and protests on the Lemonade Warriors website and social media, um, we have links where in California, if you're 16, you can pre-register to vote. And I actually just found that out recently and did that this morning myself. And other than that, um, we also have links on our social media where we can write our, our on the Lemonade Warriors social media, where we can write our local representatives to see if they're taking money from the NRA. And we can write them and let them know that we can um, and will vote them out if they don't make changes. All right, let's uh, connect uh, you with, with uh, these young people. Uh, the hashtag enough uh, national school walkout is scheduled for March 14th. Uh, at 10 a.m. until 10.17 a.m., students across the country walking out of their classes 
for seventeen minutes one minute in honor of each life lost in the florida school shooting students can register for that at facebook dot com slash events march twenty fourth is the march for our lives in washington there's also an official go find me page to help students who want to travel to washington dc uh, to protest more details are in the works for the march now being planned for los angeles and finally for more information on how to write your congressman pre-register to vote and call your representatives follow lemonade warriors and our first vote on facebook twitter and instagram thank you to jasper and mason for being with us this morning thank you for having us thank you very much all right mark cold weather today all the way across southern california and